Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. Welcome to this program, Mastering Her Shadow, Honoring Her Shadows, Loving Her Shadows. The topic for this video is don't try to fix her. Don't try to fix her. Have you ever been um, exposed to a woman, you know? This might be your girlfriend, your present girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, a present lover, somebody that you're already intimate with and then you notice there is some aspect of her being or her personality that bothers you a little bit. And then the natural response or the natural reaction is, I'm going to try to educate you on how to change that. So sometimes you don't even ask for permission, you step in, you know. A woman comes to you and she says, I'm really sad about this. And then you step in with the intention of trying to fix her sadness. You go like, Oh, you should not be sad. You see, it's sunny outside. Why don't we go to the beach? Why don't we have fun? Why don't you forget about that? In the process of doing that, you are going to rob her from a very precious experience that she's having right now. Sadness? There's nothing wrong with sadness. There's nothing wrong with any form of shadow emotion. It's okay. She's allowed to be in that space and be exposed to her own overflow of energetic or emotional intensity. Whatever is happening right there, it's fine. And if you come into her field and, and say, I want you to change that because I don't feel comfortable with the emotion that is alive in, in you right now. If you're saying that to her, what you're saying is, there is something wrong with you and we want and we need to fix that. And so women don't like hearing that. They don't. They don't want to be called on something that is just part of their nature. And so when you start dating a woman and you are in the light zone, right, in the beauty zone, in the romantic zone, and all that is perfect and beautiful, and then you start diving into the shadows, then you notice that there, is, there are wounds, there are places where she got hurt, there are places where she's sensitive about certain things. And then you start tapping into that and you go like, whoa! What? You're, you're not perfect? Say, no, I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. This is what she's going to reflect to you. Maybe she's not going to say it within those words, but what is, what is the, the reality of human nature is that sometimes we are in the lights, in the beauty, and we are expanding in this space of deliciousness, and then we enter into pain body. We enter into shadow mode. And so when a woman goes there, and you go like, I'm going to try to fix that for you. Or you put her under pressure, letting her know that it's not okay to be in that space. That if she gets angry with you, you have to somehow get her to stop doing that. So this is where we get in the, into trouble, into problem, because it is her right, it is her no emotional right to, to express what is there alive inside of her. And, uh, you know, I will give you some different techniques on how to manage that, because one of them is put a boundary and say to her, you know, I really want to hear what you have to say, but not now. Now is not the right time. So you, you have potential ways, different tactics on how to navigate that. But the first idea is this. It is that if you witness anything that feels or appears like shadow in her, shadow emotion, a shadow behavior, a shadow attitude, something that you're not comfortable with, instead of coming into her field and, and go like, we're going to fix this thing. You go like, no, I'm going to first honor the full dimension of your being. I don't need to fix her. I don't need to control you. I'm really happy with you being exactly the way you are. Can you see the difference? It's embracing, it's accepting, it's allowing, instead of trying to modify and fix and change. So educating your partner a little bit, that's fine, you know, that's perfect. Every now and then you have room for improvement and you give each other feedback, you know, challenging feedback, or you talk about blind spots and you go like, you know what, why don't we do a blind spot session here? And we check on each other and we are going to check the places where we could improve. And you go like, wow, you know, here is something that maybe you might try to consider not being so stressed about something. You know, and then you give each other feedback and then it's up to you and to your partner to decide if it's an advice or an in invitation that you want to follow or not. 
But it comes from within, you know, it comes from a desire, it comes from a partnership, not something that you are forcing on the other person. So the fixing, you know, women sometimes they don't want to be fixed. Most of the times they don't want to be fixed. When they are sharing something and they say, I feel sad, they don't, they are not asking for you to go and fix that sadness. They just want to be heard, listened to, honored. They want a man who is able to hold space for them. It's very simple, okay? So this is the, the second tip is don't try to fix her, okay? I'll see you soon for another tip.